Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you one of my favorite gadgets that I've bought in the last couple of years. This is the Blink XLT camera. And the reason I'm showing it is not only does this make a great security camera, but it also makes a great camera for backyard birding. If you enjoy watching birds that come to your feeder or your bird baths uh, or um, in bird houses, these make really great cameras. So real quick, I'm going to do a quick video just to show you some of the dimensions of the camera. It's about one and a half inches across the top. As far as the length of it, you're looking at about two and three quarter inches. And then again, about two and three quarter inches as far as all of your dimensions. So these cameras are really easy to use. You'll notice there's just a little latch here on the back that if you push down and give it a pull, you'll see the back of your camera. So they run on two AA batteries. The batteries have to be lithium. It says that in here, lithium only. You'll also notice that they've got an Android uh, connection port in here in case you wanted to run a power source to it. When you put this uh, back on, there's a rubber piece right here that will allow a power cord to go in here. They are completely waterproof. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see this. There's also a light indicator that comes on there's a switch where you can turn that off. So if you're using it for a security camera, whenever the camera gets triggered, there'll be a light that displays. If you don't want that light cutting on, for example, you're using it for bird feeders or a birdhouse and you don't want the light coming on every time it's recording video, you can cut that off right here. So that's a quick look at it. But like I say, they're really, uh, really easy to use, completely waterproof. Just put the back on, that's it. There's not much to them. You do get two mounting brackets to come with it. So this one here, you would put a screw through the middle of it and you would attach that to a post or your wall, wherever you're wanting to attach the uh, camera. And then you would take this bracket, put one end of it on there, put the other end onto the back of your camera, and that's how it mounts. And then you can basically turn the camera, adjust your mounting bracket so that you get your angle just perfect. Really simple as far as the setup. So I'm going to show you how I set it up on bird feeders, and then we'll take a look at some of the images and videos that you can get. So as I mentioned, I like using the Blink camera on bird baths and bird feeders just to see what's coming to my feeders. Uh, there's probably a more sophisticated way to do this, but all I have here is a metal shepherd's hook. You can get these at any hardware store for 10 to 15 bucks. And then if you'll notice, I've got some magnets that I just put on the shepherd's hook wherever I want the Blink camera to go. And then I just take the bracket, run it through the shepherd's hook, and it just rests on those magnets. And then you just attach your blink camera. To the back of it. And then I put my feeder back on. And then you can, you can always adjust how straight it is and stuff like that by just turning it on the mounting bracket. And then you'll want to use your app to take some test images to make sure that your picture uh, is lined up the way you want it. But it's really easy. Let's take a look at what the quality looks like. I thought it might help to give you a glimpse of the app. Now I apologize, I'm trying to record this from my phone. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it real well. You can have multiple cameras on your app. And then what's great is within each camera, you can go in and adjust the settings. So for example, the hummingbird feeder we just set up, I can go in here and I can turn off motion detection or turn it on by pressing this image. It's basically a image of a guy running. That's your motion detection. If I want to turn that off, I can turn it off. Now the camera is out there with no motion detection on. I can just take a still shot at any point I want to to see what's at the camera or I can press the video and go do a live view at any point to see what's at the camera. And then you can click on this button to go into your settings and you can do things like rename the camera, check the status of the battery, check the temperature of the camera. Again, you can enable motion detection. You can adjust the images. So for example, I've got it like this. If I wanted to, let's say you've got a tree or something over here that keeps triggering the camera, you can turn it off. You can choose which frames to detect motion and which ones not to, which is really a great feature. You can set your re-trigger time, you can set the sensitivity of the camera, the length of the uh, video clip if you're doing video, and then you can choose whether or not you want to 
in the clip early if the motion detection is stopped. Some different controls as far as your night vision, the sensitivity, you know, how sensitive is it in terms of when it gets uh, triggered, and then you have the option to record audio or not. Video quality, and so on and so forth. Your connection to your Wi-Fi, everything. Really easy, it's pretty basic. As far as uh, security cameras go, this is about the easiest one you can get. So I just wanted to give a quick glimpse of the app, just so you had some kind of idea of what it looks like.